Hello, friends. A very good evening to all of you. So, friends, we are back after so many days, and we are back because in coming days or coming months, you can say we will we will be having Nabar notification for two zero two one, and as per the previous year, this year also we will try to cover the important things, important topics, or important aspects related to uh, Nabar two zero two one. as all of you are already going through the assessment test what we are conducting in the telegram group so in the in that context only we will be covering important topics what are in the news uh, papers right so for today i have taken an important topic for this year because uh, in lok sabha also if you will see that this topic has been covered by our ministers right that is farm mechanization so farm mechanization is pretty much was in news and it is still in the news because of the crop residue management also so in this lecture today we will cover the farm mechanization right we will cover the farm mechanization in india the static part the static part of farm mechanism we have already covered right the video is already available so you can click the i button and you can get the all the important points from the static part of this farm mechanization but today in this lecture we will discussing what are all the important things that are uh, in the news from this farm mechanization for 2021 nawat uh, examination so moving on as if you are uh, following the newspaper a headline was there in the the hindu business line right that why mechanized farming has become a mantra for higher productivity so as i told you this farm mechanization is the news so our agriculture minister in the lok sabha gave a reply a lengthy reply was given by but i have taken a just a few lines from the his speech that he told that this farm mechanization has increased the overall production productivity by 17.9% you can remember and the seed germination percentage has also increased apart from that he has also said many things related to farm mechanization i have no, i am not going to those but i am restricting to this only so in this context only i will be discussing some more things uh, what have came across in the pib notification and different newspapers so what is important now is the smam scheme as you know that this smam scheme was launched way back way back when it was launched in the year 2014 april so since it is in the news a question can come that uh, when smam scheme was launched so you must remember that it was launched in april 2014 now under this scheme what government is doing government is giving subsidy so this subsidy becomes very important for this year subsidy becomes very important for this year so what all the subsidies are given by the government we will see so the first thing what was in the news that it says that under smam scheme that under smam scheme government is giving subsidy subsidy for what amount that you have to look into right so the word here is used in different article extent very important the extent of subsidy under this scheme is 40 to 50 percent under this scheme is 40 to 50 percent. Here uh, you must uh, take into consideration that uh, we are talking about what we are talking about the overall subsidy. We are talking about the overall subsidy, not the component. So the overall subsidy for the farm machinery that is given it is to the extent of 40 to 50 percent for general state. That is not in the northeastern state, but in northeastern state it goes to 100 percent. now you see you can remember this 100% because in other context when you will be seeing in the further in the video that it will get reduced to 95% so what is the condition we will see that so the uh, maximum limit per beneficiary under sam is rupees 1.25 lakhs very important then for the budget this year budget they have given a total allocation of 1033 crores under this scheme so this is also important the next important thing is a app has been launched for the custom hiring what is this custom hiring we will discuss later on a app has been discussed because if you will see the previous year question of nabard they are very much pretty much interested in the name of the portal they are pretty much interested in the name of app so the name of app is chc farm machinery app here it looks simple but when when you will get many options you will confuse 
So you must remember that name of this custom hiring app, which is multilingual app, it's CHC Farm Machinery. So yes, are some important points that you have to remember. I will repeat those. Extent of subsidy is 40 to 50 percent for general states. For any other states, it's 100 percent. Per beneficiary, it's 1.25 lakhs. And budget allocation for this year is 1033 crores. Now moving on further, as I as I was saying you, why this SAM and farm mechanization is more in the news this year because of this. Uh, we will see. Now I have already told you that SAM came in year 2014, but you will see that the seeds of this farm mechanization, seeds of this farm mechanization and government help uh, was sown in the year 1971 only. Very important in the 1971, what happened? Government opened ASCs agro service centers right from there only we have evolved so much that today we are talking from agro service centers today we are talking about the custom hiring center what is this custom hiring center it is nothing but uberization of agriculture it is uberization of agriculture means like ola and uber uh, you are giving to the farmers uh, by paying some amount of money like rent you are giving them the expensive farm machinery for using a certain period of time, like for one month or 15 days, and you will be taking rent from the farmer. So farmer uh, didn't have to buy those expensive machineries. He will get those expensive machineries through rent only. So that is only uberization of agriculture or what we say custom hiring of uh, in agriculture, right? So where we were, we are that ASC started in 1971. Now this SMAM scheme came in 2014. So what happened that previous year, you know that uh, there was too much hue and cry for disposal of what? For disposal of stubbles in the Northern states of India, like Punjab and Haryana. So these stubbles have to be disposed, but they were burning those and it was causing the pollution. It was causing the pollution. So to minimize this pollution, the government thought that why not to dispose those stubbles? Why not to dispose those stubbles in the field only by cutting them and incorporating them? Because the earlier farmer were, did not have those machines to uh, cut those stubbles. So they were burning. So simply they were burning to get rid of the stubbles. But government told that why we should not go for uh, disposing these stubbles by cutting them and incorporating them into the soil so that they will also increase the fertility of the soils, right? Right. So this was the aim of the government. So for that only, what government did under SAMAM, that is uh, Scheme for Mechanization of Agriculture, uh, government wanted to do CRM, that is Crop Residue Management, in situ, we say. In situ means on the site. In the field only, you will manage these stubbles. You will not burn them, but you will manage in the in situ, in the field only, you will dispose them and incorporate them into the soil. So for this, what happened? The farmer said that we don't have the machinery. So from where this machinery will come, the government thought of opening this custom hiring centers on a large scale basis. And for that only, the government will use this SMAM scheme. And under this scheme only, government will give what? It will give subsidy to the different units like farmers, FPOs to open CHCs. It will give so that those machineries can be used for in situ management of this crop residue. So I think it's very important. Uh, uh, important. And now you have understood the overall concept. ASCs began in 1971, SMAM 2014, CRM came. So how this CRM can be done? It can be done through CHC. And now government will be giving what? It will be giving subsidy for opening the custom hiring centers. So now we'll see what are the subsidies given by the government for opening the custom hiring centers. We'll see what are these. So you can, uh, you will get uh, confused when you will read like in paragraphs. So I've given you a, a pyramid in front of you so that you can easily remember what are all the percentage and criteria for that. Now we'll come for individual farmers for individual farmers uh, opening a custom hiring center, right? So for promoting, a, it is written for promoting custom hiring centers, what government is doing uh, on individual basis, it is giving 40% subsidy. The project cost is maximum up to 60 lakhs, right? You must remember, I stands for individual basis for individual farmer. But if it is a group of farmers like FPOs or SHGs, right? 
group of farmers, uh, then the subsidy given is 80% and the project cost is maximum here is 10 lakhs. So on group basis, it is 80% you must remember. Now in Northeastern state, what I was saying in initially in this video that uh, the farmers are getting 100% subsidy for what? They are getting 100% for uh, subsidy under SMAM for purchasing of machinery. But if they want to open some custom hiring center, in that case, it is not 100%, but it is 95%. So you must be very clear with these two data and don't get confused in the examination, right? So here also the maximum project cost is 8, 10 lakhs rupees. Last but not least in the center, you will see what HTHV, that is high tech, high value custom hiring centers. If you want to open in that case, the project cost is very much high. That is 250 lakhs. Earlier, it was only 60 lakhs or 10 lakhs, but here the it is 250 lakhs and you will get 40% amount of that, 40% amount of that as a subsidy. So these are all the different parameters, what you can easily remember with the help of this pyramid, right? 40, 80, 95 and center also 40. Now friends, uh, some institutions are very in the new, uh, very much in news nowadays, and these are very important related to farm machinery. So you can get one question from this institutes because uh, Nabar asked some questions related to these institutes. So the first institute that is in news is FMTTI. FMTTI is very much in the news. What is this FMTTI? Farm Machinery Training and Testing Institute. Ye hai? It is in the Budni. Budni mein hai. Ye aapko yaad rakhna hai. Very important. Now next one is NRFMTTI. What is it? Northern Region Farm Machinery Training and Testing Institute. Where it is? It is in Hisar, right? It is also important. You must remember. And the next one is that Central Institute of Agriculture and Engineering, that is CIAE, where it is, it is in Bhopal. So these all institutes are providing different types of skill, different types of capacity building for this usage of this uh, farm machineries, right? So in Sara institutes, ko aap ki koshish ki Last but not least, I will ask some two or two questions to you so that you can answer. The first is that Yantra Dood is a scheme for farm mechanization in which state? Which state has come up with this scheme? It is an old scheme and it was very much successful. So the answer for this is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh has came out with this scheme called Yantra Dood scheme. Very important. The next question, which of the following crop is most mechanized crop in India? So the most mechanized crop is India is wheat because wheat is grown in Punjab Haryana region. There the fields are very large and there we use the uh, farm mechanization very much. So the answer will be wheat. So this is all uh, my dear friends from SMAM and farm mechanization. What were the things in the news I have told you? If you want to study the static part of farm mechanization for Nabat, you can go through the I button. I have given the static uh, informations also. What are all the important things needed to farm mechanization? So that's all my dear friends. Again, we'll come with a new topic what is in the news. So you will get daily like this series of videos that will be important for your examination. So that's all my dear friends. Thank you. Goodbye.